Thank you, Madam Chair and um, Dr. Lander. Uh, good to see you. I really enjoyed our uh, Zoom meeting. You know, I take the advice and consent role here in the Senate really importantly. I try to meet with everybody, assistant secretaries, undersecretaries, deputy secretaries, you name it. And uh, some of these are very informative, some aren't. But I, I, uh, I really enjoyed our discussion. I learned a lot. So I, I thank you for your time. I'm going to be a strong supporter of yours in the uh, confirmation process. Let me, um, let me uh, kind of touch on a topic that you and I talked about. You know, we're getting through this pandemic. You know, there's been a lot of finger pointing and blame and everything like that. Um, and, uh, but there's some silver linings, as we talked about. And, you know, you never want to highlight the misery of what's going on in other places. But it looks like right now, if you look at overall, of course, we've had way too many deaths, which is horrible. But with regard to the vaccine and the ability for American states to get it out, my state has been leading the charge remarkably on vaccination rates um, in Alaska for the whole country. But how quickly we were able to do that, the vaccine, knock on wood, and we hope this stays the case, appears to be working relative to like the Chinese vaccine that doesn't seem to be working that well. And other countries are having a real hard time and now we're, we're kind of leading the world, I would say. And I think there's so much to learn in a positive way from Operation Warp Speed and how that came together. For, so I'm gonna be working on legislation and I know you and I talked about it. I, I would say, you know, I, I wish President Biden would be a little more magnanimous. You know, his uh, his discussion of vaccines always seemed to seem to start with his inauguration. Of course, that wasn't the case. He kind of did it again last night. He never recognizes the Trump administration's work. I think we need to come together and recognize that. But could you just tell me quickly, because I had a couple other questions. What are some of the lessons that we learned? I mean, it's been a year, really since the pandemic hit us hard and we already have a vaccine that is getting to most of the country and most scientists would not have agreed that that could happen at all and yet we did it american ingenuity we did it it's a great lesson that we should all try to be celebrating and learning from well uh, senator first um let me say i also tremendously enjoyed our our conversation and I, I will say for the record, I did commit to you to come to the great state of Alaska. Yeah, so I was going to get to that. You, oh, okay. You well, you said you'd come I'm, in the winter, which a lot of uh, nominees don't. So we're going to get you up there at least. I, I'm, I'm proactively recording. I'm going to take you to Fairbanks where it's 40 below zero, and you're going to see. Well, you got that great research center up you there know, that we that's talked actually about. Actually, my next question. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'll, I'll stick to the question in front of us here. Um, with regard to vaccines, it's amazing how fast it worked. And it's also amazing that it was 10 years in the making. It yeah, was investments point. by this American government in things like mRNA vaccines, yeah. understanding coronaviruses. And so as we look going forward, I think we have to look that we've made investments over a long period of time. And then when it came time we had things on the shelf we yeah. could bring down. We got to keep doing well, that. Well, look, I want to. I'm. I'm going to be proposing legislation. I think it will be very bipartisan. I, it will be not. It will be non finger pointing. Right. It's going to be. Hey, we pulled this off. Democrats, Republicans, Trump administration, Biden administration. What have we learned, and how can we apply that to other places? Yes. So I want to work with you on that legislation. You and I had a good chat about that. Let's let's talk to let's talk about Alaska here real quick. Here's my big issue. We're a great state. Everybody loves their own state. I think my state's the most unique, certainly, and you'll see it when you're up there. But it, whether it's climate, Arctic, oceans, fisheries, there's so many huge scientific things that we can learn from what's happening in Alaska. Here's a bit of a frustration. Federal agencies often want to study these, but they do it in places that aren't in Alaska. So I, I need your commitment to come up, see the state, but also help me get the scientists who are studying these Alaska issues to actually be in Alaska. This has been a problem. I'll just give you one example. NOAA. I love NOAA. But there was like this giant migration of scientists 
who are studying Alaska issues who left Alaska. You wouldn't have scientists studying the Grand Canyon do it from Illinois, right? <laughs> so I'm just saying we need to fix that. C can you comment on that at all? I mean, it's best to be a scientist studying something in the place where it's taking place, right? Senator, I, I, there are some things you can learn from a distance and some things you could learn from a, a computer simulation, but you can't learn about natural places without being there. And so I, I think that's a broad statement that I strongly support. We need people there to observe and be part of the, the ecosystem and all of the exciting opportunities and challenges. Great. Let me, and I, and I know I'm a little bit over my time, and I know I think Senator Loomis is up next, but just one final question. I, I agree with what Senator Rosen just said. We've got to take politics out of science. But this works kind of all ways. Right now, I would say there is a definitive um, area where energy, traditional energy, oil and gas in particular, mining, seems to be out of favor, right? This current administration is restricting the production of American energy. Crazy, in my view. Um, killing jobs, for sure. And even during the Obama administration, you had scientists come out and say, the National Petroleum Reserve of Alaska doesn't really have any oil in it. That was the scientists. Well, it was totally political, because they were wrong. It's a huge area. Some of the biggest finds recently in the world have been in what we call the NPRA. So that was politicized science to try to get people not to explore for energy in America based on faulty science, fake science, in my view. So can you just tell, talk to me briefly about making sure you stay, keep it straight down the middle, a lot of focus on climate change, okay, we need to focus on that, but also on energy. Having, being the world's natural gas uh, largest supplier has benefited our country and the environment and the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions enormously. That's science. Some people don't want to say that, but that's science. Can you just talk about being even keeled and keeping politics on both sides out of science? Senator, you say it well. We have to be even keeled. Politics does not have a place in science. When we have a problem, we need to look to all the solutions we might have for that problem. And if confirmed, I, I can commit that I will bring that approach and I will encourage that approach. Good. I look forward to strongly supporting your confirmation. And I